It's important for engineers to have a professional license so that the public recognizes that that engineer is qualified to do the work that they need to do in order to protect the public health and safety. As a professional engineer at the end of the day is the final person to sign off on a project and the public expects everything to work correctly and safely and a professional and ethical component is critical in knowing and ensuring that that safety is there. There are many benefits to becoming a PE. It demonstrates technical competence. It brings uh, prestige. I feel I've become more uh, respected as an engineer. It, it does sort of set you apart, gives you a distinguishing credential that you can put on your resume. It gives you the ability to um, work in a variety of industries in different kinds of jobs. Many jobs require it. Based on salary surveys, it will bring uh, more income. I feel it's opening up opportunities for me at my current place of employment as far as advancement. It's an honor. I think as a person, you just feel that it's, it's, it's a good thing. You, you feel proud of it. It demonstrates professionalism. It demonstrates a commitment to ethics. And at the end of the day, the seal on something lets people know that a professional has designed it and it will work. To get a license as a professional engineer in the state of Texas, there are three main things you have to do. Uh, education, experience, and examinations. Education is getting an engineering degree uh, from a university. There are two required exams. The first is the Fundamentals of Engineering, or FE exam. It's taken at or around graduation. The second is the Principles and Practice of Engineering, or PE exam. It's a more advanced exam and includes knowledge you obtain while working with practicing engineers. You're also required to have at least four years of experience for licensure. This includes working in the field, working with other engineers, and working with PEs on real jobs, on real projects, and gaining engineering experience. Well, the FE exam consists of uh, about 100 questions. It's a computer-based exam. It is a multiple choice exam divided into two parts. It's a little bit unusual in that it's a supplied reference exam. So uh, it's not an open book exam. You, you can't bring anything with you that you want, uh, but they provide you with a reference book. Um, and so it's important uh, when you're preparing for the exam to be familiar with the content of that reference book, the nomenclature, the variables they use so that you don't waste uh, time trying to understand what's there. I would encourage students to take the FE exam early because the fact is that a lot of the more theoretical stuff that may not apply exactly to your area of engineering practice, you'll forget. And when you're a student in college and you're taking exams every few weeks related to those subjects, it's much easier to remember them. I think a student graduating with an engineering degree should definitely take the FE because even if you don't know what you want to do right now, I mean, you'd probably figure it out in the four years that it takes to become a PE, so you don't want to regret not doing it. The supplemental experience record is one of the most important parts about the process of becoming a professional engineer. It is no small task. I think my supplemental experience record document was 12 to 15 pages long, um, and it was about one page per project. What's important about what you put on the supplemental experience record to me is making sure that you're communicating that the board knows that you have technical detail and knowledge about the projects that you've worked on. Not simply that you prepared a uh, plan specifications and estimates document, but what were the details of, what was the length of pipe, what was the length of roadway, what uh, challenges did you personally experience while you were working on that project. I think that's very important to come across, not to look like marketing material necessarily, but more technical detail of what you did. The PE exam is multiple choice, 80 questions, and it's an open book and you, also, you get to bring whatever material you want, but it has to be binded and it can be written, you can't have any handwritten notes in there. A good way to study for the PE exam, in my opinion, is to start ahead of time. Give yourself a couple of months. I would buy some good study material. I would recommend getting some that not only taught the content well, but had a whole lot of practice problems. Have the right calculator. I walked in with somebody who realized that they did not have the right calculator in the FE exam and was not able to use it for the first part of the exam and had an hour lunch break and did not eat lunch, ran to Best Buy and purchased the correct calculator and that seemed very stressful, so please go to the website and figure out what the correct calculator that you can use is.
The Texas Board of Professional Engineers was created in 1937 uh, as a result of a catalytic event of a disaster that happened in the state of Texas. Due to a design issue, um, there was an explosion. The explosion blew up the school and killed over 300 students and teachers. It was a terrible thing for the community, for the state of Texas, and even for the nation. As a result of this explosion and disaster, the legislature created the Texas Board of Professional Engineers to regulate the practice of engineering and make sure a terrible thing like this never happened again. Right now there are 60,000 professional engineers in the state of Texas. There are over 10,000 engineers in training. Uh, these are engineers that are on the, the path to becoming a PE. Uh, and then there are easily over 10,000 engineering firms that are registered, individuals as well as practicing firms. So there's a lot of engineers in the state of Texas and there's always room for more. The Texas Society of Professional Engineers was started in 1936 as a part of the national organization. We work closely with the licensing board. We monitor the legislature every session. As a member of TSPE, some of the benefits you gain are that you have the networking environment. We provide opportunities for members to get involved, serve on committees, serve on task forces, do specific projects. We also provide very powerful leadership training. I would say the wow moment after actually becoming a PE and having that seal is the very first time that you actually get to use it. The first time that you put the, the stamp down on the piece of paper and you sign it and you realize the profession that you're a part of now, you realize the impact that you can have on your community, um, on your company, on the world. That's the wow moment, is the first time you seal something as, as significant or insignificant as that small project may be, it's important. My name is Tobin Ezequasili, Mark Sandu, Emily Portillo, Carson Lindstead, Cecilia Hernandez, Nancy Blackwell, it's Robert Hart. My name is John Ho, and I am proud to be a professional engineer.